welcome back to my channel friends or welcome if you're new i'm super happy to have you all here i'm gonna bring you all along with me today as i go out to some thrift stores i'm still on the hunt for some kitchen items i mentioned in one of my last videos i was on the hunt for some glass bowls with lids and i still really want to look for some things like that for the kitchen we just have um lots and lots of food things going on in the kitchen right now with garden season and I feel like I'm running out of bowls because there's a lot of things that I will like cut up and prep and like to keep in storage containers in the fridge and then I've been making a lot of like pasta salads and um lots of things like that for the summer that I just need some more bowls for so I'm gonna be on the hunt for that and I would really 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 love to thrift them so hopefully we can find some stuff like that and any other sort of really large mixing bowls that I could get a lot of use out of in the kitchen because I feel like I just need some really big bowls to be able to hold all the produce and everything like that that I'm working with and canning with and all of that. Last year I actually thrifted some of my really big stock pots that I use for canning and those are some of my favorite thrift finds because I get so much use out of those. I think they were like five dollars a piece and they're so great for holding a really large quantity of like tomato sauce and stuff like that for canning season. So that is some of the stuff that I'm on the hunt for today. I hope you enjoy coming along with me and I will see you when we get to the very first thrift store. I really loved this nice large sheet pan here at Goodwill for $4.99. I recently bought a big pack of those so I definitely didn't need it but super handy for if you were in need of one. And I also loved this for $2.59, this clear glass pitcher. I thought it would be so handy to have to like water your plants with and to just use around the kitchen and the home. And then of course these beautiful little mugs here caught my eye in this pretty teal blue color they were 59 cents each and so cute and quaint and just very cottagey to me and I also loved these brown ones these like brown stoneware colored ones in the back they were $1.99 each I see Fiesta wear all the time. It must be something that a lot of people have started donating recently, but it was only $1.99 for this really pretty little mug. And I've seen these at antique stores for definitely way more expensive than that, like $10, $15. It just depends on the type and the colors and all of that. But um, I knew that was definitely probably a good deal. And I came across so many beautiful restaurant wear mugs on this thrifting trip as well y'all know i have a little collection of those and they're some of my favorite mugs to use i just love the thick sturdy feel to them and they also keep your coffee warm longer because they are such a thick ceramic um mug how cute is this yellow truck pillow that says farm fresh that would be so pretty for spring and now we are going to move on to the next store and the first thing that i saw there were the set of ironstone salad bowls and they were $2.99 for this entire stack of them. Barron River Consignment always has some of the most amazing deals on their clearance racks and I love to go over there and browse through that first. These stack of three blue plates were $14.99 um, and that was a really good deal for those as well. This pretty little um, dessert cup here or dessert dish was $1.99. And then if you know me in real life, you know how much I love to collect horses. I used to have a whole huge collection of them growing up and love to collect all different breeds and types of horses and I had them all displayed in my room growing up. I don't collect them that much anymore, but I still really love when I see beautiful horse figurines. 
and then I went over to the dishware section which is you all know one of the main things that I was looking for and I was so excited immediately at what I saw some amazing pampered chef bowls look at this huge ladle that would come in a lot of handy for canning it was huge and then these awesome wooden rolling pins these looks like they were handmade and a few of these little glass juicers I I have a few of these that I really love to use in the kitchen for making lemonade and things like that. And they also had a lot of Tupperware that was plastic. I really wanted to try to stick to something glass, so I didn't get any of these. But if you were looking for some food storage and Tupperware containers, they definitely had a really good selection. My mouth dropped when I spotted this old antique ironing board. It was 60 and they had it marked down to only $30. That is a still for this piece. Oh my goodness. So, so beautiful and such an amazing piece. That would look so beautiful styled in um, an old farmhouse laundry room. Can you imagine? Oh my goodness. They always have the prettiest sets of dishes here and I love how they always have a really large set so if it is a pattern or a dish that you collect you can find the whole collection here for a really good price um, and I also fell in love with this teapot this gives me English cottage and Bridgerton vibes a little bit I just really loved that and it would look so beautiful in like a cottage core styled kitchen and then i found more restaurant wear mugs for two dollars each now we are at the salvation army I really love how they have all of their cookbooks and all of their garden books in different little sections so you don't have to kind of go through all of the books because they have so many books and hunt out for um, the garden books and the cookbooks they're separate and you can go straight to them and look through them all so I had so much fun going through all of these I didn't end up bringing any of them home because I have so many garden books and I didn't see any that I absolutely fell in love with I did like this one but I didn't love that the cover was bent so I decided to leave it but they had such a good selection today okay friends I'm back home and I'm gonna share with you my finds from today my very first stop was our local library because I needed to return the books that I checked out two weeks ago and I told you all I was gonna start sharing with you the books that I check out um, every few weeks and what I'm currently reading so I mentioned in that video that I'm currently reading Bridgerton because I fell in love with the series on Netflix and decided to go ahead and read the whole series of Bridgerton books and I've already read the first one and I really loved it so I put the second one Went on hold at our local library and it was back in stock so I picked that up today while I was out and very excited to start reading this one tonight and then next um, for all of the thrift store finds the first place that I ended up going to is Goodwill because they opened earlier than the other places so I went there first and I was super excited about my kitchen finds I actually ended up finding quite a few kitchen things today that are going to get lots of use in our kitchen and be very 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 useful so I'm excited for these the first thing I found is this huge colander this huge stainless steel colander this thing is massive I don't even know if you can tell on camera how huge it is but it's definitely the biggest one that I've probably ever seen um, and this is gonna come in so handy for watch washing all of the fruits and vegetables coming in from the garden um, I have a colander a small colander in our kitchen right now full of tomatoes that I just washed and so I cannot wait to have one this big to hold all the veggies so so awesome this is just 
the most perfect thing um, to add to our kitchen. It was $5.99 and they actually had a this large one, a medium one, and a small one. I already have a medium one um, that is just like this. It's just a smaller size down from it and then I decided to pick up the little one so now I have a small, medium, and large and again I just use these colanders so much especially this time of year so I absolutely love love this fine. I love that they're stainless steel. I have some plastic ones and I would like to you know switch out some of my um, plastic colanders for these nice nice sturdy stainless steel ones and like I said it was $5.99. I would also really love to find some huge stainless steel bowls, just like mixing bowls that are really large um, to hold a lot at a time for again canning whenever you're like mixing large batches of things that's really helpful. And I actually found some last year and I'm so upset I didn't get them. I think, I can't remember, I think it was like $10 for the set of three and they were like really big um, at a thrift store that was like an hour away from my house and then I didn't get them and then all summer I was like why did I not buy those huge bowls that would have been perfect and I have not seen any since so um, I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for some big mixing bowls but I'm glad that I could find um, these colanders oh and the small one was $3.99 Okay, and then the next thing I found from Goodwill, this is a little random find, but you all know how much I love um, slippers and house shoes around the house. And I found this pair brand new in the box, and these are so cozy. These are definitely going to be more for fall and winter, because right now I have some slides that I'm wearing, and these are more cozy and fuzzy, but they're so pretty, brand new. They're in this chestnut color. And I just love these cozy fuzzy slippers for the fall and winter months. And then I love that they have a nice solid bottom on them for being able to go outside and stuff. And these were $4.99. That's the brand. I don't think I've ever heard of that brand, but I was excited to find those. Brand new in the box. They are memory foam, indoor and outdoor soles, and they have a plush lining. So, exciting little random find. And then, let's see, anything else from Goodwill? No, that was it from Goodwill. And next, I went to my favorite um, thrift and little consignment store in Glasgow. It's called Barren River Consignment. And you all know if you watched one of my last videos where I brought you along thrifting there, I shared how they had this beautiful ironstone picture and I left it behind and I told you all if it was still there when I went back that I was going to get it and it was still there. It's been gosh over a week since I've been and it was still there so I knew it was meant to be. This is the biggest picture I have ever seen. This is seriously huge and it's just gorgeous. Look at the crazing on it. Oh my goodness. So I knew it was well worth the $25 for it. If I would have waited a few more weeks, I probably could have got it marked down, but I just really wanted to go ahead and get it. Um, and it has just a very faint stamp on the bottom that you almost can't see anymore, but it says, it actually says Lincoln, Illinois. I think that's what it says. But anyways, it is beautiful. And I compared it to one of my other pictures that I have that I thought was big. And it is like three times the size of that one. I mean, it is huge. I've just never seen one this big. So I thought it was so awesome. And I can't wait to use this for flower arrangements. And even like for fall coming up, it has some really beautiful warm undertones in it. Um, that is just going to really, really accompany my fall decor beautifully. And then let's see. Next from Baron River Consignment, I found exactly what I was looking for. I could not believe when I saw this in there, I found a, another Pampered Chef glass mixing bowl with the lid. Oh my goodness. Exactly what I was wanting. Some glass bowls with a lid on it to store lots of things in the fridge and keep them fresh. So love this find. I have one of these already that I found. I can't remember where I found my first one. I can't remember if it was at a thrift store or maybe 
yes i think i found the first one at a thrift store and then um either that or my mom gave it to me so this is going to come in very handy and it is a eight cup measure and cup and then the next thing that i found there is this tiny measuring cup and they had it labeled as just a um, vintage measuring cup it didn't have a brand or anything on it um, and it has no brand on the bottom so I'm not sure exactly who this was made by but it is such a cute little glass pitcher I just love it it is a two cup measuring cup and again with my other um, Pyrex measuring cup that I have it is constantly dirty because I'm constantly using it so it's either in the dishwasher or the sink and I just needed another one because um, it's always handy to have more than one or something if you're using it all the time and you love it so i thought that was so so cute and like i said it didn't have a brand or anything so i've never seen one like this but i think the detail on it is super pretty so that is everything that i found from goodwill and the um consignment store and then i went into salvation army and i always really love to look through their kitchen stuff as well but i didn't see anything today um that i needed but I also love to look through their books. So I found two really good books. The first one that I found, um, you can tell my mind right now is all things canning and preservation because I of course picked up this canning book right here. This is Better Homes and Gardens, Jams and Jellies. And this book is brand new. So I was super excited about this. And it has every kind of jam and jelly you could ever think of. Things that I've never even heard of before in here, which I thought was super exciting because I'm really wanting to try some new and different things that we've never had before. Um, and branch out from like the basics that um, I make every year. So what are some good ones? Let's see. Here's a fun one. Carrot cake jam. I love carrot cake. That sounds so good. And see, I've never heard of something like that before. So it just kind of gives you different ideas and kind of opens your mind up to all the different things that you can make. Peach jelly, um, strawberry rhubarb freezer jam. I'm definitely going to um, grow some rhubarb next year because there's a lot of different, a lot of different things I want to make with it. And I would love to make um, rhubarb jam and things like that. And then let's see what else, what else? Look at this one, honey and thyme blackberry jam. That sounds amazing. So it's blackberries, sugar, honey, and fresh thyme. Oh my goodness. You all know if you have been watching my previous videos how much I love thyme and how much I love blackberries. And then honey mixed with that. See, that's so unique and something that I would never think of so this is giving me so much inspiration that sounds delicious and it looks like you can like season it with meats and things like that um i love a sweet and savory moment so that looks incredible and um i cannot wait to try some of these recipes and the cookbooks were only um for a paperback 99 cents so very good deal for that um and then i found this book which is a perfect summer read this is barefoot by ellen hildebrand and i have heard a lot of good things about this book i'm always like watching and reading book reviews and so i've heard a lot of good things about this and how it is a perfect summer read so i'm excited um to dive into this and to see what it's about um and this was only 99 cents as well and i think that is it i think that's everything that i thrifted today so i hope you enjoyed coming along with me and seeing all of my finds stay tuned because we're going to be having lots more thrifting adventures soon i have a lot of new places that i want to go and bring you all along to and get out and do some more thrifting again so i hope that you will stay tuned for that i'm um, also with fall coming up i just have so many ideas i know it's several months away but also it'll be here before we know it so i'm already um planning and coming up with ideas for that that i can't wait to bring y'all along for um and also stay tuned for more um garden and homemaking and homesteading videos that i am going to continue to share throughout the summer and next week i have some salsa and some pickle canning videos that i'm excited to share but i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week and i will see you in my very next video.